All right, folks, so in this video, we're going to be learning how to uh, upload a Docker image that we've made on our local machine and put that onto Amazon Elastic Container Registry, ECR is the abbreviation I'll be using for that. Now there's a companion blog post that goes along with this, that, that link is in the description, and I go through the steps in that as well. The first step that I'm not gonna show here is you really have to make sure you have an AWS uh, account, so you have to make sure you've gone through the process of creating that account. Uh, once you have that, then you can actually start uh, creating your repository. So uh, if you haven't created any ECR repositories before, you'll probably come to a screen like this, uh, and uh, you'll click here, create a repository, get started. If you previously have repositories in it and an existing account, it might take you to a page like this. And you know, to create a new one, you're just gonna do the same thing, create repository. And the only thing we're really doing on this page is naming uh, our repository. So uh, we'll call it quiz server. We'll see uh, why it's a quiz server eventually at the end of this series. Uh, but uh, that's all we really have to do. You can choose between public and private, uh, but I'm doing a private server because I don't want it to. I just sort of be a, a wide open repository. And then all you really need to do is go create a repository. So now it uh, will link you back to that page we saw uh, a couple of seconds ago. And we have, uh, most importantly, this URI. We're going to use this URI in some of our command line uh, commands as we try to authenticate and then push our image to the servers. Once you've created uh, your repository, there's one more step we need to do on the web portal. Uh, before we go into the command line. So what we actually need to go is we need to go to security credentials. And what you're gonna do is create an access key. And I'm obviously not gonna show what my access key is. I will demonstrate that when you, uh, if you do this with a root user, which I'm currently doing, uh, AWS is going to warn you against that. If you're doing a uh, an actual project that we will put into production and that will have sensitive data, you want to use uh, an IAM role or a user or something different like that. When you click that create access key button, what is going to happen is that you will see uh, on the page that you have an access key on uh, the left side of that table that will start with the letters AK. You want to copy uh, that and then there will also be a hidden, uh, basically the actual token itself, the actual password uh, that is part of uh, this user access key, and so you'll also want to copy that. You'll need to have both of those for the next step when we go into the command line and try to authenticate uh, so that we can connect our Docker and AWS. All right, now we're here in our CLI and we actually want to authenticate to AWS. So we do this with the AWS configure command. This will ask you to input your access key ID. This is the value that starts with AK. Uh, so you'll enter that full ID and then you'll enter the uh, key itself, the even more complicated string that you copied from that page, you'll enter that on the next line, and then you'll be authenticated. Obviously, I'm going to skip that part so you don't see my uh, string. Now that we've configured AWS, we're authenticated to our account, we need to log into Docker, and specifically, we need to log into the AWS account for Docker so that we can connect to that repository we made in our AWS account. It's a little roundabout, but let's see how it works. We can get just the um, the AWS password for a particular region with uh, this command. So we have to do um, AWS ECR get login password. I can't do this right. I just need to double check my uh, double check my sources here. Um, yeah, so it's get login password and we can pass a region. So we can say US West 2. So if we were just to do this command by itself, we get this long password. Not useful in itself, but what we're going to do is we're going to pipe that password to the Docker login command. So we'll say Docker login, we'll say the username is AWS, and we'll pass the password, the S standard in. That's what uh, we're doing with the pipe. And now you just need to type the repository prefix uh, from the repository you created on ECR uh, back in the web portal. So for instance, I can open uh, my web browser and I can see we have uh, this URI. We don't need this last part, the quiz server, we just need uh, this prefix here. And we're going to include that as the last little uh, part of this. Amazon AWS.com. There's no dot between the Amazon and the AWS. So we'll enter that. See what happens. So login has now succeeded. 
So now we're almost there. We're almost ready to push a Docker image to that repository. So we're going to clear one more time, and we'll start doing the Docker push command. So before we push that image, we can quickly check our uh, repository. And what we'll see is that there are no images here right now. Uh, we want to change that, of course. So we're going to start by looking at Docker images and just remind ourselves, OK, what's the image ID for uh, this container that we have built locally? And now we need to, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tag that. We're going to tag that uh, specifically uh, to correspond with the uh, URI from our ECR repository. So here's the command that we're going to use for that. We want to say docker tag, and we're going to find our image ID. So what is this, B9EAB6. Hopefully I got that right. And then we're going to tag it like so. So we're going to take our account ID, just the whole prefix of, uh, of our repository. Hopefully there are no typos here. And now we need to incorporate, uh, so what is it? It's actually the quiz server. Latest. So we put that tag. So now if we do Docker images again, uh, we'll see that these two have the same image ID, but they just have, uh, they, they have different repositories now. And now we're, we should be able to go Docker push and so we'll, uh, again, type out this long, rather lengthy uh, uh, re repository name. And we'll include slash quiz server uh, with latest. And so we'll say docker push. And now it's going to push uh, our container image to our remote ECR repository. As we can see, the size of this container is four gigabytes. Uh, so, you know, Haskell objects can be pretty big. Uh, so this will take a few minutes for it uh, to be pushed up to ECR. So we'll come back <laughs> in a couple minutes when that is done pushing and see what the results are. All right, we have finished pushing our container image. Last thing we just want to check on repository, we can see there it goes, it has now showed up, we have an image uh, in our repository, and so we are done, we have successfully taken uh, our uh, local Docker uh, container image containing our Haskell web server, and we have pushed it on to Amazon ECR. So we'll now be able to use this in an Amazon Elastic Beanstalk application, we will do that in uh, the next video, so stay tuned for that.